I've been personally looking at upgrading my backyard. It was dead grass when we purchased the, the home, um, so we wanted to put native plants in it. And as part of that research, I was looking on different websites and came across the National Wildlife Federation's uh, program to certify your backyard as a wildlife habitat. And what you need to do that is to provide food, cover, water, you know, all the basics that animals require to survive. And he realized that all of these requirements and more were already available to the animals at the Springs Preserve on a much larger scale. The wildlife certification program is applicable to any size property. Uh, most of the properties certified are probably backyards. It's an urban uh, wildlife habitat program, but they'll do any, any size. So the 180 acres at the Springs Preserve, of which 110 is, is restored habitat, was a, is, is a perfect fit. There's water now in abundance in the restored wetlands called the Cienega, natural and artificial shelter along with safe food sources. We've also created on one of our escarpments some uh, caves so that birds or bats or insects or whatnot would have shelter that they can get into uh, to get out of the summer heat, uh, which is really important in the Mojave Desert. We have uh, piles of brush that we've left on site so lizards can get under there and get away from predators, that kind of thing. And just the, the plants themselves, the, all, the diversity of habitats. We also uh, do not use herbicides and pesticides on our site, which is another one of the categories that they looked at. So the staff of the Springs nice. plans to mark the certification by placing plaques at the main entrance, the trailhead and the gardens. But they're even more excited about teaching visitors how to create their own certifiable backyard habitats. We're actually giving classes to teach you know, folks uh, the basics. Basically, you know, I do have a wildlife biology background. I do have the benefit of a horticultural team, a gardens team, et cetera, here. Uh, but not everybody has that or, or has a green thumb or, or whatnot. So by taking a class here, you kind of get ramped up really quickly on what is required and what you can do to, to meet those requirements. In fact, with the advice of his colleagues at the Springs and a new landscape of purchases from our frequent plant sales, Ray's already beginning to see his backyard habitat attract the attention of many new species. A number of birds, we had Verdon actually nest for the first time this spring in a screw bean mesquite, uh, which is one of the species they prefer. Uh, we created a rock pile with a hibernacula underneath for lizards. Uh, we got quite a variety of hummingbirds, one of them staked it out and uh, it's his territory and he chases everybody else out and just uh, quite a variety of birds and insects so far. As a wildlife biologist, he's glad to add to the available habitat at home or at the springs. Even if it's a tenth of an acre or one acre, you're just you know, increasing the amount of space available for wildlife, whether it's migrating birds or bats or you know, insects. Because we ultimately share one big backyard, it's in all of our best interests to be better neighbors with nature.